Okay, everybody, sadly. Sadly, it didn't record the last time I did this scenario. So I have, I have to do it all over again. I successfully passed it, so I know what to do. Although, even though I know what to do, I still sometimes have an issue uh, getting it done correctly or better than what I did the first time. But let's see uh, how we do. Hopefully we could get through this. All right. And hopefully the record goes through without any problems. All right. The accident that I did last was this one here. Cliff accident case in France. So let's go ahead and do it again. There's one, two, three vehicles involved in this one. And we have a, a female driver here, two in this vehicle, and one on the cliff. So let's get started. So right away, this car right here is priority has to be saved because it will go off the cliff if we don't hurry up and uh, put rocks in the trunk there. Uh, so here we go. You can take a look around. I got a very nice car here. Really awesome. Okay, we'll be coming up to the accident very soon. You'll see the orange car off the over the edge of the cliff right there. And the other two cars here. Now this one in the middle right here, upside down, and that burnt, is the uh, car that came from the cliff up there. And those are pieces of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and put on our emergency lights and get our phone. Call for emergency. They don't know what we see here. They're going to instruct us what we should do, which I already know what I need to do. Okay. Once they answer, I get to get out of the car. Okay. All right, let's get to this. We're going to go open the trunk of this car in the cliff, grab the rocks, put them inside there to hold it from falling. Okay. Okay, so we saved that car. Uh, put out the fire, now we got to grab our extinguisher from my car, and uh, we'll, we'll need two of them. While you're here, grab the uh, first aid kit, because you're going to definitely need that. the other one from the back here. Okay, we finished that. We gotta shut off the ignitions for all the cars. Turned hers off. We're gonna turn uh, hers off here. We can't get to it from this side, uh, so we have to go to the passenger side. And there it is right there. Okay, uh, now mark the accident location. So we have to get the uh, triangle reflector cones. And we got to go place them way down here. So it gives us plenty of cushion room for cars coming up really fast up this hill that they'll see this marker way before they get close to us. That's the reason for putting it so far down. Now we'll go grab the triangle out of uh, the lady's car up here in the red car place it at the other end. Okay, now uh, we're going to check all the victims. First you want to check the guy in the clear because that's like uh, immediate emergency right here. Because this guy's uh, dangling off the cliff here. You look at how scared he is, he's shaking. Okay, he's conscious, okay. Okay, check her. Can you hear me? Alright, check for breathing. She's breathing, okay. Okay, so let's check the other two. Can you 
hear me? No, they're not breathing. I think they died on the impact here. So, oh, her wounds. She's got a wound there. And a wound here in her leg. Okay, call that in. Go ahead and check the next uh, victim here. Shake him, see if he's awake. He broke his neck. Okay. Check for breathing. I don't hear anything. Okay, check uh, check my location. Get in the car, check your GPS. Okay, got that taken care of, so we gotta go help the victims. The priority is this victim dangling, so we want to hurry up and get him out of the car. So we help him out, we set him down there. Okay, so he's sitting down, we got him out. Next is this lady here. Okay, so we could do there, wait for help to arrive. So there's nothing else we could do for anybody. So we just have to get in the car and wait for the help to arrive. And then we got to piece together what happened by finding clues. Life helicopter is going to come in. Life flight. Okay. Okay, gather all the clues. Life flight took all the... Uh, casualties and uh, so now we're gonna first of all I know there's uh, some or not this side they're on the other side uh, these are not no clues that not this is uh, the clues right here let's get more clues so we got that uh, there's, I don't remember if there was anything I'm gonna shut the trunk here uh, leave that door open that's your material uh, irrelevant. Uh, we'll close this door. We're going to check. Uh, get clues from this debris. So there's uh, three more left. So there's five all together. Five clues. This tire is a clue. Right here. Oh, insufficient. Well, it, it's insufficient now until we go up the hill. Over here, there's a clue. Well, there's not a clue. Actually, we could go up the hill from here. Uh, but let's go up the hill on this side because it's closer. Let's see if it lets us go up from here. If not, we'll go down the street and go up. There we go. Yeah, we could go up from here. Okay, let's go up the hill. And up here, we're going to find a rock up here. We're going to get the clue of the skid mark here. Okay, that's our third clue. Our fourth clue is going to be this rock right here. Uh, there's a little scratch from the rock when the tire hit the rock. That's irrelevant right now. So let's go back down the hill, and the last clue is going to be that tire. So it's funny how you can't get it when you're down there, but we're going to be able to get the clue from it now. Uh, oh, that's going back up again. So Oh, they brought us out the end over here. Why didn't they let us down over on this side, like where we came up? Okay, so the tire is the clue right here. Wait a minute, now it's an insufficient clue? Oh, or was it over here? Yeah, it's this one. That's the one, I'm sorry. Falls from the cliff onto the street below. Okay, there we go. We have all five clues. I stand corrected. I thought it was a tire. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, piece uh, all this together. Let's go ahead and just stand over here over the whole uh, collision scene. Push F. And we're going to piece this together. Um, I can't rem Okay, the rock was the whole start of it, right? So the rock started it all. And then Sedan falls from the cliff. Nope, that wasn't the one. Uh, loses control. Okay. Then he falls from the cliff. And then uh, he crashes into the car. And then... The last clue is uh, he breaks too hard and um, understeers onto the cliff edge. Bam. 
There you go. You know you're successful in that when it says finish the narrative. All right, so now we're going to see what happened to all the, the victims or the uh, casualties. I hope it's recording. Ariana wet. When emergency services were finally able to remove Ariana from the car, it was already too late. She died either when their car fell down the hill or when uh, Berenice's car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. So she's deceased. She passed away dead. Uh, Guillaume, while his car was rolling down the hillside, Guillaume hit, hit its roof so hard that he broke his neck and he died. Despite losing conscious, consciousness, Ber Berenice was not seriously injured during the incident or the accident. She was revived shortly after arriving at the hospital and left in two days uh, later. After that, she contacted Debus and Kaplan families and helped them deal with their grief. They remain close friends to this day. Hugo. It took Hugo several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. The incident triggered severe acrophobia, which is fear of heights, that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. So we have two survived and uh, two that did not. But we have a successful scenario, and I'm hoping that this recorded properly and um, that I could pass this on to my YouTube page and share it with all of you. So here we go. Let's end this. Now we're going to watch the video of how it happened. These are the two fatalities right here. That's how it happened. Now you can see for yourself. That's really cool how they put that video at the end so it doesn't leave you hanging like, wow, how did it all happen? I, I mean, I pieced it together with those clues, but you know, to show you a video of how it went down is really awesome. Okay, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed the, the uh, scenario of this accident case. Uh, please check out uh, my other videos that I am posting, my prior videos, my other cases. Uh, please stick around for a, or come back and watch another case by hitting that that uh, bell so you know when I post content. Please like the video or hit that like button if you like the video, please. And subscribe to my channel so that uh, we get uh, more viewers and be able to share more with everybody else. Until then, uh, we'll see you on the next one. You take care of yourself and everyone else. Peace out, everybody.